Today we are at the Medewin Tallgrass Prairie enjoying a tour called Ghosts of the Ammunition Plant. The tour description reads as follows. In 1940, the U.S. government acquired over 36,000 acres of land to build an ammunition plant. Why here and how was it built and operated? Learn about the deadly explosion during World War II. Tour the inside of one of the few remaining warehouses in an ammunition storage bunker. The tour lasted over two hours and takes place on unimproved roads. Gravel and potholes can be expected. because of all the buildings that were in here, most of them were white, so that, that worked. And there was over on the other side up north, there was a place called Brown Circle, and most of the buildings there were brown. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, so this was the main gate that you had to go in to get into, into, the, uh, into the, the arsenal. Uh, there are all sorts of gates and fence areas that you can see some of those. Uh, but this was the main gate for the the south end the structure of the Ileana Expressway, which would have been uh, just on the other side of this cornfield over here, uh, and just at the back of that house effectively. Uh, uh, talk a little bit about this. Uh, as I mentioned, there were nine buildings here. Six of them were buildings that were made out of uh, a, a more of a tile, and we'll see some of those later on. In fact, we got some of the tile inside here where we'll go in. Um, the, uh, the six buildings that were taken down, uh, they could salvage the, the, uh, the metal that was in there. And so that uh, reduced the cost of the demolition of the structure because the company taking it down could then get some money back from the, from the, uh, the, the, the beams that were inside, the metal beams. Uh, these buildings, uh, the interior, they're, they're all wood. And so that's, they're kind of unique and they just kind of left those alone. Um, we talk about some of the recycling uh, concepts that Medewin has been working with. Um, they had uh, hoped to be able to sell some of the 22 uh, warehouses that were up on Hoff Road, uh, sell them to people that might be interested in just going in and acquiring uh, all the, uh, the, the timber or metal or whatever is available in there. They, they did actually get, I think, about a half dozen contracts signed. Um, I think only one or two of them were actually completed uh, because there is so much uh, bolts and nuts and hangers and everything else in there that it's just a really uh, a very time consuming thing to try to recover that, that timber that's, that's in there. Walkie-talkies are provided as part of the tour and they give you information about the plant as you're driving from location to location. Yeah, that's what, yeah, you did. 
group eight? What, were you making boosters or fuses or what? Oh, okay. Yeah, because that's yeah, four through nine, I think, was just for the fuses and the boosters. That's why I was curious. Yeah, maybe it was a little more delicate work or something. I noticed there was a lot of uh, young ladies that worked there. So yeah. Ah. My one sister thinks my mom oh, did. Right she remembered her talking about fuses. Yeah. Uh, group 3 was 105. Thank you. Thank you. I'll be there soon, right? <laughs> Oh yeah, great Wonderful. time.